Are you thinking of studying for the AWS AI Practitioner Certification but not sure if it's worth your time? Well, a week ago, I passed my exam and made a video about my entire experience. I shared the exact resources I used, my exam strategy, and what topics I recommend focusing on. But in today's video, I want to answer a question that many of you have been asking me. Is the AWS AI Practitioner Certification actually worth it? The short answer is it really depends. Where are you in your career? What are your learning goals? And how much do you know about the cloud? These these are all factors we have to consider, so let's take a deeper look in this video. I'll be covering what this certification is, who it's best suited for, the kind of opportunities it can unlock, and finally, how much cloud and AI knowledge is needed for this exam. I'll also share with you the pros and cons of getting this certification, so that by the end of this video, you'll have a clearer idea on whether the AWS AI Practitioner Certification is something you want to go for. By the way, if you're looking for some extra exam prep material, I highly recommend checking out my 20-page AI Practitioner study notes where I've compiled all the important information you need to succeed in this exam. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. All right, let's get into it. First of all, what is the AWS AI Practitioner Certification? Well, it's a foundational level certification offered by AWS that's designed to validate your understanding of AI, machine learning, and generative AI. It covers the basics of AWS AI services and their use cases. The exam itself has 85 questions that you'll need to complete in 120 minutes, and it currently costs 75 USD. This is because right now the certification is in beta, meaning that it's in a testing phase. But once that's over, the exam will change to 65 questions and the cost will increase to $100. Now, who is the AWS AI Practitioner Cert best suited for? Well, there are two types of people I believe will benefit from taking this exam. The first group is students or beginners who are just starting out in their journey of cloud, AI, and machine learning. If you're new to this field and want an introduction to these concepts without diving into complex topics, this certification will give you a great overview. It can also serve as an entry point for future learning and can help you decide if you want to go further and pursue a career in AI. The second type is anyone in a non-technical role who has a desire to understand AI and machine learning concepts without getting into too much technical detail. For example, if you work in marketing or tech sales, having this foundational understanding can help you communicate more effectively with technical teams, relate to your customers better, and understand your company's broader IT strategy. For me personally, I come from a background of having five AWS certifications and I've worked two years at AWS as a solutions architect. But the problem was I never properly took a step back to understand the fundamentals of AI. And so the reason I decided to take the AWS AI Practitioner Cert was to fill in that knowledge gap and refresh my understanding of new and existing AWS AI and machine learning services. This certification honestly also just opened my eyes to how much there is to learn. And because of that, my next goal is to get the AWS Machine Learning Engineer Associate Cert certification. All right, now you might be thinking, okay, this AI practitioner cert sounds pretty cool, but how exactly would it benefit my career? Well, let's take a look at all the new skills you'd pick up through this certification. From the official exam guide, we can see that the exam covers the fundamentals of AI and machine learning, fundamentals of generative AI, applications of foundation models, guidelines for responsible AI, and finally, security, compliance, and governance of AI solutions. As you may know, these topics are highly relevant in today's job market. As more and more business implement AI into their operations, there will be more discussions on concepts like foundation models and responsible AI. I also just want to point out that you don't have to be the one coding or implementing AI systems for this certification to be helpful. Companies are looking for people who can bridge the gap between business and technical teams, and so this certification can help you position yourself in the middle of them. Earning this certification may also lead to salary increases within your current company. In fact, according to a recent study conducted by AWS, they found that employers are willing to pay 41% more to hire AI skilled workers in business operations and 47% more for IT professionals. Not a lot of people in the world have AI skills at the moment, so simply having this certification on your resume can help you stand out. It won't take a significant amount of study time and in my opinion, I don't believe that any of the knowledge gained will go to waste. Speaking of studying, how hard is the AWS AI practitioner exam really? Well, if you're already familiar with AWS, the exam should feel quite manageable. There will be services like Amazon SageMaker and AWS AWS Artifact that come up in other AWS certifications. But be prepared to also answer questions on features of new services like Amazon Bedrock and Amazon Q. And if you're completely new to the cloud, I'd recommend starting off with the AWS Cloud Practitioner Cert or watching some videos to understand cloud fundamentals first. Since this is my sixth AWS certification, I found the exams to be pretty straightforward, but I still dedicated 16 hours to studying and doing practice exams. If you'd like to hear more about my own experience, you can check out my last 
last week's video. But overall, as long as you use the right resources and give yourself enough time to prepare, I believe you should be fine. Alright, so after taking those factors into consideration, here are the pros and cons of getting the AWS AI Practitioner Certification. First, this certification provides a great introduction into AI and machine learning, especially if you're new to these fields. It helps you understand key concepts and AWS related AI services, giving you a solid foundation for more advanced certifications or roles later on. Secondly, with AI being integrated into more industries, having this certification on your resume can really help you stand out. As mentioned earlier, employers are willing to pay more for those with AI skills, and so this certification can help you take advantage of this opportunity. And thirdly, compared to other AWS certifications, the study time for this cert is relatively low. You don't need months and months of preparation to pass. 16 hours was enough for me, and for those with less experience, I believe it shouldn't take more than two months of consistent study. However, one drawback to consider is that if you're already working in a highly technical role or have prior experience with AI and machine learning, this certification might be too basic for you. It's a foundational level cert, meaning that it won't provide in-depth technical knowledge. Another factor to consider is that this certification does require an understanding of basic cloud concepts and AWS services to pass. So for those who are completely new to the cloud, I recommend starting off with the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification first. All right, this brings us back to our question, is the AWS AI Practitioner Certification actually worth it? After considering all of the factors in this video, here's my final take. If you're new to AI ML or in a non-technical role, this cert is a solid starting point and can open up new career opportunities. However, if you already have cloud and AI ML experience, this cert might be too basic for you and an advanced certification might be a better fit. To wrap things up, here's a little roadmap I'd recommend. For those of you who are just starting off with the cloud, the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification is a solid foundation that will help you understand cloud fundamentals and key AWS services. If you already have cloud or AWS experience, you can begin with the AWS AI Practitioner Cert. From there, you can choose to advance to the AWS Machine Learning Engineer Associate for hands-on skills in deploying AI and ML models. And for those wanting to master more complex topics, the AWS Machine Learning Specialty Cert dives into areas like algorithm optimization and data engineering. All right, one last thing before you go. If you're planning to take the AWS AI Practitioner exam, I've created some study notes that might help you out. This includes a 20 page PDF summary of everything you need to know, a section by section breakdown following each domain and task statement, and a mini sample test with 20 questions. If you're interested, I've included the link for purchase in the description below. Okay, this brings us to the end of this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and let me know if you're planning to get this certification in the comments below. All right, bye for now.